The Marine Animal Entanglement Response Program is essentially an emergency field operation. We're being towed oftentimes at eight knots. It's extremely loud. He's coming up, let's go. It's extremely fast. The, the, the program has been important for the last 30 years and continues to be important because the entanglement problem, first of all, doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. The Center for Coastal Studies disentangled its first humpback whale in 1984. Since that time, we've disentangled around 150, maybe more, uh, whales, including right whales, humpbacks, fin whales, and minke whales. One part of our, our, our effort with the Entanglement Response Program is to share as much of our information with people as possible. That information can be on the subject of entanglement. It can also be on the techniques of disentanglement. Well, the Center's uh, response network is an essential part of the global network. And in fact, um, pretty much the entire global network is modeled after the Center for Coastal Studies uh, network that it set up in New England. And in fact, almost all of the probably a thousand people now in 27 countries have been trained in the techniques and using tools that the Center developed. We attach this to the gear behind them, that's trailing behind them, so if we aren't able to disentangle a whale on the first day, we can find them the next day quite easily. Uh, the network now extends from uh, West, uh, Western Australia to Argentina to Mexico uh, to the United Kingdom. Here at the Center of Coastal Studies, they are way ahead on all the tool making and they are also great teachers. So they, it has been very helpful, they are patient, thoughtful, and basically they have the background because they've been in the water so many times, but they are willing to share that information, which is great. The thing about some cases is that if you don't share that knowledge, then, then other people are at risk. And what you do, and what the centre has really uh, drilled into me, is that um, by sharing that knowledge, you know, you're saving the life of, of, of future responders and also the, the life of whales. There, there are a couple ways to measure success. Um, let's take Mexico as an example. They've uh, trained uh, 180 people in 15 different teams and they're all ready to go and to help whales. And in fact, in the first two years of their existence, they've uh, successfully saved and released 32 whales. The Center for Coastal Studies is working in, in two dual directions. On the one hand, we want to make disentanglement as good as we possibly can for whales and for people and what I mean by that is safe. At the same time, we also want to collect information from our disentanglement operations, and we want to feed that into the research, the study, of reducing entanglements. Because we recognize that we cannot disentangle every whale. We can't even find every entangled whale. So if we can find a way of actually stopping the entanglement problem while allowing us to continue fishing, for example, then that is something that we will count as a great success. I am not at all uh, put down by the fact that whales don't thank me. Um, the thanks comes from when we see them come back the next year with a calf. And that's the thanks I'll take. <laughs>